Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Sharky Eye Gamer, and I'm going to actually pause the video there for a second. Uh, we Today we are beginning It Moves. This is an RPG Maker game, I believe made for the 2015 Indie Game Maker Contest. Uh, that information will be in the description below. It is essentially a game about a kid and the monster under his bed. It is based on a short story by Michael Whitehouse. The uh, game was created by Snow Owl, and of course all the links to him will be in the description as well. But let's get started. So, we're going to go... To, let's close that read me. Don't save. There we go. And we're going to go to New Game and see what happens. Uh, adjust brightness so that the left bar of the TV blends into the background and the center bar is hardly visible. Uh, how do I, how do I do the thing? Yeah, whatever. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tire tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. <clears throat> and sorry if you guys hear the uh, click clack of... Uh, keys, I am, this is the first recording, uh, since I got my new Black Widow keyboard. So, still adjusting to that. This is me. Hi. Poster from a movie. I got it for my brother. Uh, full of toys and stuff. There's Teddy Bear. Mr. Teddy. It's a wolf. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. Okay. A table. Let's leave. I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real. But I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all, now as best I can. Make of it what you will. But I will, I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. This, uh... this is my father. Uh, that... A picture of a man standing around. I think it's dead when he was younger. Shoes. Not very interesting. This is a plant. Flowers. Mom put these here. Right. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. Okay. Do I talk to... Nope. Go on here. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of my own. Let's uh, go back over here. A man with a mustache. Just a bunch of clothes in here. Mom told me to not touch her stuff, especially this stuff. Nothing too interesting. This is my mother. Mom, how do you like your new room? Soon you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. Okay. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given a room at the back of the house. 
As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds, which we used to share. When I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited about the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. Uh, okay, do we talk to Dad again? Dad, don't go pulling out too much stuff now. It's bedtime soon. All right, cool. It's locked, stupid bro. I go back into. All right, it's bedtime. Already? Yes, adults need their sleep, you see. You'll be sleeping alone for the first time. Hope you don't die. You excited? Yes, Mom. Very, very subtle music. Very subtle atmospheric music. It's just a simple, like... Mm. All right, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Please don't let that thing under your bed kill you. Good night. Okay. Another thing about this game, cap chapter one, cave. Another thing about this game is that he stated that this one is supposed to scare you more with atmosphere rather than jump scares. I can expect that there probably will be jump scares, but at the time being, while this guy is standing around here, I don't think there's going to really be any, but we're going to save. Who are you? Okay. Oh, those are butterflies. Okay. Uh, this way. What the hell is going on? Why is there a fucking monkey on the roof? I came in through a skull. A pot and some ragged cloth. Ragged. I wonder what's cooking. Oh, that's really creepy. Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed. With me. Just kidding. A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Go down, stay here. Uh, I'd rather go down than stay with Mr. Rapey in the window. Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Okay, the aesthetic... The aesthetic of this game... is interesting. Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Yeah, visually, this game is very interesting. Purple mushroom, definitely poisonous. Nope. Nope. Uh. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so there's face skulls or something in here. Oh, this is a puzzle. Uh, this one? This one. Nope. This one? Nope, this one. Uh, hmm. So you go, you do those three.
You close those. Interesting. Uh. Hmm. Then you. There we go. Yeah, the atmosphere of this is pretty. Yeah, this way. The atmosphere of this game is pretty terrifying. Because the sound. Oh, why? Nope. 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 Oh, man. Yeah, a step. Oh, what the fuck? Can I run? Can I run? Run, please. Okay, I guess not. Uh, that's rough. Am I, am I dead? Can I? Can I not run? Am I dead? Mom, I had a bad dream. Mom. 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 Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. All right, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Sure, let's go back to whatever that was. Because, good lord. Snow Owl, I don't want to say you have some kind of psychological issue, but you might want to talk to somebody. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. Uh... Yeah, sure. I can't save unless I'm in Dream World, so. Let's see. There we go. Nighty night. Time for terror. Chapter 2 Labyrinth. Rest in peace, David Bowie. Okay. Save. Yes. Save. And we'll continue this in the next episode. This has been episode one of Sharky Plays It Moves. Already a little creepy. Don't know how many chapters are in this game. Uh, we are going to see what's going on in, I guess we'll call him Little Timmy. We'll call go on in Little Timmy's head right now. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time.